All right, today uh, we're going to do some lamb. We'll work on that in a second. And then I'm going to make a gin and ginger beer. This is a farmer's, a tonical, organic gin. The ginger beer, the fever tree. All right. Oh, my. I would say the gin and ginger beer is better than the tequila and ginger beer. Gin and ginger beer is good. This is uh, lamb. It's from Aldi's. Doesn't appear to have any extra uh, marinade. Just, yeah, the ingredients is just lamb. They had one that was seasoned with all that crap. And then uh, the turkey didn't work out so good with all that seasoning in it. And it was good the first day, but... The lamb is 3.64 pounds. Um, I'm going to just divide it into four. So I smoked one fourth of this today. I'm going to rinse all this slime off of here. And this lamb is deboned. I think that's my favorite part. Because when you cook it up against the bone, that's the, the last part to get even or done. This looks like a good cut right here. This chicken, I'm going to it's uh, just press. I'm going to smoke that for. Phoenix's meals. One fourth portions of lamb. Okay. There will be more than three quarter pound a piece. I figured out three quarter pound. So I'll give me options down the road. Um, if I want to make like a small lamb stew, if I want to make uh, um, kebabs, lamb kebabs, or some kind of strip, or just smoke it. Smoke it again. Put them in the freezer. Cheers. This is just olive oil. Phoenix chicken's ready to smoke all of All of it is just plain breast with olive oil on it. The lamb, just going to keep it simple. Some uh, cayenne pepper, Himalayan pink salt, five peppercorn, peppercorn. And almost two hours. What do we have? Oh, yeah, that's pretty dang good right now. It's been resting about 10 minutes. Here's my piece. That's good.